Texas. We're counting down with the solar eclipse less than 100 days away. Now our weather team is working to bring you in on the science behind how this amazing phenomena comes together from the heavens to the ground and everything else in between. That's right. In the studio right now we have Chief Meteorologist Eric Snydel and uh, Meteorologist Liam Healy standing by. Gentlemen, what are we talking about today? Well, we're going to start this one off with some of the basics here. With mainly, how do these eclipses even happen in the first place? And the, what are the different types that we can see? So starting off with the how here, Eric, the basic idea is that the moon in its orbit around the Earth, it moves in front of the sun. And where the moon is in its orbit is going to have an impact on exactly what we end up seeing. Yep, and that's the big part of this. To get this type of eclipse that we're going to see in Rochester on April 8th, which is a total solar eclipse, the moon needs to be near its what we call perigee, fancy word for the point in its orbit that is closest to Earth. So the moon appears large enough to actually block out the sun completely. Now during this year's total eclipse, the moon will be just past this point, but still close enough to the Earth to completely obscure the sun and provide near total darkness in the path of totality. Now when the moon moves further from the Earth in its orbit and passes in front, in front of the sun, that's when we get what's known as an annular or ring of fire eclipse. Mm -hmm. The last time we saw one of those in the United States was actually last year, where the path of annularity passed west of the Mississippi. These are slightly more common than a total eclipse happening on average at a random point on the Earth about uh, every 244 years versus every 375 years according to NASA. Now of course these are all just averages as Rochester's last total eclipse happened just 99 years ago in 1925 and it won't be as short of a wait for the next total eclipse over Rochester which isn't expected to happen until 2144. I'm looking forward to that one. I, I'm sure you'll one. still be here. Yeah, yeah.